let's take two silver eagles and put it in there. And copper is used most frequently as the fake inside a silver copper sandwich. If you double up, you can make a gold and tungsten sandwich. What's up, everyone? Tiger Stacker here. Let's have a fun time learning about the Sigma Metalytics Pro. Things that you didn't know about, maybe, and I've recently found out about, which can help you with your verification. Obviously, you'll have to turn it on. You'll have to hit the calibration, and it'll go through a calibration through the first larger port, the second smaller port, and if you have a wand attached to it, it'll calibrate that as well. Then you'll have your metal that you've chosen and the indications and the scale, which includes the surface and the through reactivity. And as you would expect, it would tell you if something is or is not a good product, as long as it's within one of these two ports, or if you were using one of the ones. This is the small one. There's also a large one and a refiner one, which can go a little deeper than the small or the large. You can also buy a bridge for it. So I want to show you some features here that I've learned about the Sigma Pro, which will help you with your determination. Of course, I've found out about some things regarding fakes, and I've done a recent video on tungsten being a really excellent metal to fake you when you're trying to buy gold. Allegedly, American Gold Eagles. It's a counterfeit. This one, just one solid plug of tungsten. So I recently bought some tungsten that I'll show in this experiment. And of course, you can easily find copper, which is frequently used in faking people out and buying fake silver. Of course, you could use other methods, which I support using more than one technique to verify what you're buying. You could use the pocket finger. You can use calipers. You could use a neodymium or strong earth magnet to see if it will pick up anything. And of course, if they are real, you won't pick up anything. I also love the magnetic slide. What's interesting about silver is it has something called diamagnetic properties. So it will go down the slide slowly. But the weird thing about what's used in a lot of fake silver is so does copper. What a great way to fool you. So fakes can have copper inside and a silver looking metal or actual silver coating. Funny thing is also gold has some diamagnetic properties, not as much as silver, but it does. But the metal frequently used to fool people, tungsten, has no diamagnetic properties. So as we go through this exercise, let's talk about how the Sigma can help you. In my research to work on another metal, which I will talk about later, I learned about resistivity. I even went out and bought an ohm meter, which will measure the amount of resistance the electricity goes through the metals found an interesting thing about an ohm meter that you might buy at a hardware store. They're not sensitive enough, but the Sigma is. So let's go through this. The Sigma Metalytics works by using deep penetrating electromagnetic waves to measure the bulk resistivity and density of a specific metal sample. The device sends waves through the sample, ignoring the surface features and plastic packaging to analyze the metal's core properties. It compares the measured resistivity to known values of various alloys and provides immediate results with a green or red arrow, indicating the sample is likely genuine or questionable. How does the process work? The tester sends electromagnetic waves into the precious metal or bar. These waves penetrate far deeper than surface level tests such as an XRF. The device measures the sample's unique electrical resistivity and 
in some models its density. The measured properties are compared to a database of known alloys such as pure gold, pure silver, or specific gold and silver alloys. What about the results? If the sample's properties match a known alloy within the expected range, a green arrow appears. If the readings are significantly different, a left or right arrow appears, indicating the potential fraudulent or non-matching sample. What are its key features and benefits? It's non-destructive. The process is very quick, providing results in less than a second. The tester can analyze samples through plastic cases and bags, eliminating the need to remove them. It can detect counterfeit metals, inserts, or plating that surface-level tests might miss. What about its versatility? Different size sensors and wands are available to test a range of objects from small one gram bars to large one ounce coins, and in some cases bigger if you have a Sigma Metalytics Pro with an attached bridge. You don't even have to have the correct metal on the screen. It will show you the numbers on the right hand margin. So pure gold gives you a resistivity of 2.2, which is expected. And here you see 2.25. I've seen it ranging anywhere from 2.2 something to 2.1. The top bar measures the surface resistance. The bottom bar measures the resistivity through the item. And depending on its thickness, it can vary which one it's giving you. It's one of the benefits of having a Sigma Pro. The original unit only does surface. So what about silver? Here you see the resistivity is 1.63, 1.62, which is the reason silver, the best electrical conduit, because of its decreased level of resistivity. So let's talk about its faking partner, copper. Copper has a resistivity of 1.72 surface here and ranging between 1.67, 1.68. And notice it's also indicating that it's not that far off because its resistance to electricity is also pretty low and really close to that of silver. So you can sometimes have a sigma give you wrong information, and it will also give you wrong information on the magnetic slide. But it doesn't have the same density. It doesn't have the same measurements. It won't ping correctly. So always use more than one method for verification. Let's talk about gold's most used fake metal, tungsten. It has a resistivity of 5.57 on the through and the 6.46 surface. Don't worry, you don't have to write this down. I'll show this all to you coming into the end of this video and how it will help you. So what about the resistivity of platinum? The resistivity of platinum is 10.4 and notice it says thin. So it's recognizing that it's not very thick. So it's indicating that the through might not be accurate because of its thickness. What about the resistivity of palladium? The resistivity of palladium is very interesting. It is measured not at 10 to the eighth power, it's measured at 10 to the seventh power. It's 1.07 times 10 to the seventh power, and here you see it's reading surface at 10.8 eight and through at 10.15 but it's also a very thin piece so let's do a little experiment let's pretend we are making a fake silver product now let's take two silver eagles and put it in there and as i said before you really don't need the correct graph on the screen because what i'm really interested in is the numbers on the right margin so when you double them up they read differently an american silver eagle measures 1.63 surface and 1.8 through and being that copper is used most frequently as the fake inside we'll make a sandwich a silver copper sandwich and notice that the surface is 1.63 and i've had the lower number go anywhere from 1.81 to 1.91 what about gold if you double up two golds and put it in you get 2.23 surface, 2.92 through. So what happens 
when you put the most commonly used fake metal in the middle. So in this case, we're going to make a gold and tungsten sandwich. And you put it in there. And on the surface, you get 2.23 and 3.34 on the through. So let's go ahead and show you the analysis. So let's review the data. The electric resistivity as determined by Sigma Metalytics Pro in ohm meters. Here you see pure gold expected at 2.14 times 10 to the 8th ohm meters, and the difference is zero. Tungsten, the expected resistivity is 5.6, and what I got earlier prior to the demonstration here was basically the same. Silver has 1.59 times 10 to the 8th ohm meters and was measured at 1.62, a difference of 0 0.03, almost negligible. Copper has 6.18 times 10 to the 8th ohm meters. Notice that silver and copper have very similar low resistivity to electricity, which is why we use them in electrical products. And I had zero difference. Platinum has 10.6 times 10 to the 8th. And when I measured it prior to this video, it was showing 10.45 or a difference of 0 0.15. Very small difference. Palladium showed 10.7 times 10 to the seventh and i was getting prior to this video a difference of zero to 0 0.3 again negligible so let's see what happened with the sandwich experiment if you'll let me use that analogy two american gold buffaloes by themselves showed a surface of 2.23 and a value of 2.92 and there has to be some variability in this because you have a little bit of air in between the two gold coins but what happened when we put tungsten in the middle we still got the same surface, but noticed the value changed to 3.34, which is why a Sigma will pick up tungsten in a fake gold product. What happened with the American Silver Eagle sandwich? Doubled up, had a surface of 1.63, and the through was 1.81. Once again, probably affected by the amount of air between the two points. But when we put copper in it, notice the surface stays the same, but the through is picked up at 1.88. And definite change, but if you notice, copper resistivity to electricity is very similar to silver. So you have to be really careful with a fake silver product, which means means you need to use more than one verification tool. So you can always have a Sigma with you. They come in cases that you can use, but they're pretty pricey. A pocket pinger is inexpensive and you can put it in your pocket, ergo the name. You can always keep a little magnet with you. I personally would go to a coin show with a backpack, a Sigma in the back, and my other tools in case I was really that concerned and used whatever tool I felt would be best to approve or disprove the validity of the item you're thinking about buying. I hope this helps you make sure that you don't buy fake products. It's worth it to always use more than one method. See you on the next one. Tiger Stacker, out.